Welcome everyone, this is Harin from Gadgets Connector. Apple just released iOS 11.3 version to all the eligible devices just yesterday and I was really excited to update my iPod Touch 6 generation to its latest version. And without wasting any more time, let's get started. So in case you have missed it, I've just made one video about iOS 11's previous version that was iOS 11.2.2 and with all other versions of iOS 11, I was pretty much disappointed. To be honest, iOS 11 in general had hell lot of bugs and it had a lot of frame drops in basic UI transitions and the battery drain was also pretty huge. So will this version of iOS 11 fix any of that? Let's hope. You can now have a look at the changelog for 11.3. And straight away from the size of the update, we can say that this is a pretty major one. So let me download and install the update and get back to you once the installation is completely done. So finally after about 20 to 30 minutes the installation was complete and now let's have a look at the changes it brings in if at all anything has changed. Now comparing the screenshots before and after the update it looks like it has taken about 100 MB more so the storage space available is not freed by any means after this update. Now let's check if there are any new wallpapers added and looks like there aren't any new wallpapers. A couple of months back you must have come across the news that Apple is intentionally slowing down older iPhones claiming that the battery on the older devices have become very old and weak. That created a lot of confusion and outrage among the fans and Apple had finally stated that in their next major iOS update they will be including an option which would let you know the current health status of your battery. But unfortunately I was not able to find any such option anywhere, I checked it at almost every places and it looks like Apple has skipped that for iPod Touch 6 generation. But that doesn't necessarily mean that Apple has slowed down the performance of the iPod Touch 6 generation and the performance remains just as same as it was before. And while I was editing this video I just came across something interesting and that was in the App Store. Under the update section. The interface is slightly tweaked and when you click the more option, it not just brings the various changes or the short version of the changes, but it just shows the entire change log and the update size of the current update and that is something new and interesting. So before ending the video, I would like to talk about another major bug which is sadly still not fixed and that is with the music app itself. While you're done listening to music or just got busy somewhere in the middle and just want to pause the track and then you unfortunately clear the music app and you want to resume back listening to the same song and that is where the bug happens. Every time you're greeted with this beautiful not playing error screen and it drives me nuts. Because literally the primary usage of an iPod is to listening to music and when there's a major bug even in that I seriously hate Apple for not fixing this. But apart from that, there aren't any major bugs and the performance still remains smooth and no issues there. And I was also able to notice that there was a slight improvement in battery life so that is a good thing. So overall with this update Apple has fixed quite a few bugs and fortunately the battery drain which used to be very much in the previous versions is actually slightly better which is always a good thing because this device has a very tiny battery and anything which improves the battery life is a great thing. So that wraps it up for this video and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out.